Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Understanding Michaelis Menten kinetics for the MCAT is crucial. It is tested all the time. And for that reason, it's really important to understand what Km, the michaelis menten constant, really means. Here we have a typical michaelis menten kinetics graph. And if you look here, you'll see this red line is slowly approaching the Vmax. Now to find the Km value, you want to divide the Vmax in half, then go over to the line, and then down to the x-axis. Because Km is defined as the substrate concentration which is on the x-axis. So you're looking for an x-axis value. So to properly define Km, we'd say that Km is the substrate concentration at half of Vmax. Now, if you find that you really, really struggle with this idea of michaelis menten kinetics and what's going on, you'll definitely benefit from my 10 Most Commonly Missed Concepts course. I have an entire lesson devoted just to michaelis menten kinetics, and I walk you through every single detail of it that you really need to know for the MCAT. If we take a second look at the answer choices, you'll see that answer choice C is the correct answer, as the Michaelis constant is the substrate concentration at half of Vmax. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAS score. Look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.